This is the plaintiff, Tizia Ingram. She says she and the defendant were dear old friends, and she can't believe the woman stiffing her on money she paid for some summer fun trips. That's right. She hasn't received a penny of the $640 she's owed. Their friendship is over, and she has no other choice but to sue her here in this court today. This is the defendant, Cherise Caldwell. She says she told the plaintiff she didn't have the funds for the trips, and the woman basically begged her to go because she doesn't have any friends. She's now heartbroken. The friendship's been lost over money. She did the plaintiff a favor by going on the trips, and she doesn't owe her anything because she told her she couldn't afford it. She's accused of stiffing a girlfriend. All parties, please raise your right hand. You see it, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome in. Okay. Tajay Ingram, you're suing Sharice Caldwell, your dear old friend, as you called her, um, for two trips that she took that you organized, as well as a skirt she won't return. What happened? How long have you two known each other? Approximately 13 years. Wow, okay. And what happened? Um, over the course of our relationship, we've had a very rocky friendship with borrowing and loaning and being there for each other. Just so happens last year, I gave several bus trips. And she- What do you mean by you gave several bus trips? I give bus trips, we go You say to, give, you mean organize? I organize okay. bus trips, where we go to different either amusement parks, food eateries, things like that. Yeah. So I gave three bus trips last year, and she agreed to go on two of them, bringing okay. her family. And according to you, the price of the first one that she owes is 365? Yes, ma'am. And she went on that one, and did she have family members on that one? Yes, she Okay, bought. and then the price of the second one was 255? Yes. And did she have family members on that one? Yes. Okay, um, so she owes you 620? Yes. And she's never paid a penny of it. When was the first trip? The first trip was June 17th, 2017. And the second one? Was August 12th, 2017. And so what's happened between then and now? What kind of discussions have the two of you had about this? We've had verbal discussions. We've had telephone discussions and even text messaging in regards to the money owes. We've even did a payment plan. If you said that you had a rocky relationship with her in terms of borrowing and lending, why is it that you loaned, you know, fronted the money for the trip for her anyway? She's a friend. We, we've done things for each other. We've been there for each so other. So the fact that you've had a rocky relationship in exactly this kind of situation isn't a red flag that if you want to keep your friend rather than have to sue her, perhaps you guys shouldn't engage in this kind of behavior of borrowing and lending? Exactly. Uh, what are you nodding about? You're the one who borrowed and, and lent. And, okay, well, let's talk about the trips. What do you say these trips were? Okay, basically I'm here, Your, Your Honor, because I didn't say yes to the dress. We're going to get back to that dress? later. This is the dress. What I'm gonna dress? Get, I mean, this is, this is my daughter's prom dress. Prom dress? Yes, this is the reason why I'm here. Okay. Okay, this is the dress in which, why I'm here. Okay. Because I didn't say yes to this dress, okay? I did not ask to go on these trips with Miss Ingram. Miss Ingram begged me to go on these trips. Miss Ingram doesn't get along with a lot of her family members, and she begged me to I'm go. sorry, are you suggesting that uh, she put a gun to your head and made you incur no, this debt? No, that's my friend. Okay, but you're supposed to pay her back, right? No, she told me that, uh, please go, because I can then pay her whenever. I okay, never so got... the idea, though, is not she's going to fund your trip. Exactly. You're supposed to pay her whenever you can. Yes. Okay, so you're supposed to pay. So, no, so you made a decision to go on the trip knowing that you would have to pay at some point. Right. When is some point? How many years have to pass before some point is ripe? Okay, well, Miss um, Ingram knew of my ailments, one being now I just had surgery. I don't, I haven't worked. When I, I told Miss Ingram in the beginning that I could not afford the trips, okay? I told her I couldn't afford it. She, I, I didn't decide to take the trips until weeks late before. She had these up and, um, you know, arranged four months. I told her I could not afford to go. She begged me to go. She asked me to, to recruit my mom, okay? She asked me to recruit my friend, and they also, so also can be witness to her saying that I can pay her whenever. Okay, I have no, we're gonna, we're gonna go with your mm -hmm. version. 
You can pay her whenever. I've never had. No, I know. The problem is that when you two enter into an arrangement, so apparently there's not this, a lot of dispute here. It wasn't a gift. She didn't put a gun to your head and make you go, and you agreed to pay for the trip. So the question becomes a judge question when the parties don't have the sense to give a deadline. It becomes, well, what's reasonable? A year is past reasonable. Okay, so let's talk about the clothes. What happened here with the clothes? Apparently, at some point, you borrowed a bunch of clothes from her? Right. Over the last four years, I lost 170 pounds. Yes. Can I see it before? You, sure. I have you can, or would you rather not? Or? Well, no, it's fine. I, I mean, think that's I awesome. To, I yeah. want it before. Who's got it before on their in the phone? It's in my phone. Take it. No, girl, it break it. Listen, I, sure? I overrule oh, whoever told you to take your phone off before you go to court. <laughs> That's awesome. How'd you do it? Well, it was, it was a lot of work. It was, uh, exactly. It was a lot There's of no work. shortcut. But um, tell me anyway, how did you do it? Eat less, work out more. Yes, yeah, basically. Well, yeah. Um, so how long did it take you to lose? How many? Um, it, 170 pounds, about two years. That's like another person. Yeah. I was 346 pounds. Don't look at it yet. Right. I know you wanted to. I know, the I know rules. you. Oh, I girl, I'm sorry. Please let me show this. No, that's fine. I can't stand that's it. It's fine. And yes, I'm sure you were always gorgeous, but I, I do Thank find you. this to be a lot healthier weight for you. Yes. And, um, I'm. I just. Uh, it's. I'm. It's unbelievable. So. Kudos to you, my Thank dear. Thank you. So now tell me, so you lost 170 pounds. You lost right. a person right. and a half, maybe two people. Right. And, then, uh, and then you... So, so Miss Ingram was very you know, excited for me that I lost the weight. So she would always offer, offer me to come and shop in her closet. My mom would always There's two me. kinds of friends. <laughs> there's the friends that are friends, and then there's the friends that are such close friends that you can shop in their closet, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. But I never did that. I'm an only child, so my mom, mom always told me, don't borrow other people's clothes. That's just something that you don't do. But she had offered to me twice, you know, two, two different occasions. So, you know, the, it was one time I said I wanted to step out of the box. So she said, oh, I have the perfect things for you. So she wanted to show it to me. The only reason why I agreed to it because they had okay, tags Okay, whatever. On you it. agreed to it. You borrowed a clothing. They had tags on it. I you borrowed returned it. everything except right. for a skirt. That's the only thing why? I wore. That was the only thing I did wear. Yeah, but why did you keep the skirt? I offered to pay for it. Why? She doesn't want you to pay for it. She wants the skirt. That's she told I you that. It. Can you take the skirt and give it back to her? Now tell me about the prom dress. Okay. This didn't, Miss, Miss Ingram um, is not telling the truth over us having conversations about this money. The reason why we didn't have a conversation is because Miss Ingram knew I couldn't afford it. I have Are zero. Are you working? No. Have you worked in a year? Uh, on and off. Okay. Because so of my ailment. You can afford it. You can afford, did you pay $2? No, did you pay five dollars? I've been zero did dollars. Pay, did you pay anything? No, but she never asked me. She never said anything okay, about so it. She never mentioned it. Okay. Okay. She. The yeah. The prom dress. The money did not get mentioned by Miss Ingram until she asked to borrow my daughter, fifteen-year-old daughter's prom dress. Okay. Now your daughter is fifteen, but she was going to the prom. Right. And your daughter uh, had she worn the dress to her prom yet? Yes. Oh, she had worn it. Okay. She wore it, and but and then so she mm -hmm. asked to borrow an item of clothing in your and your house's in your daughter's closet, not your closet. Exactly. And you said what? I said that my daughter was not going to feel comfortable because it was still hanging up like it was still a wedding dress. She had just came up out of it. So it was, so she said she wanted it for her black tie event. And I told her, well, you know, I can't, you know, lend you that. So right as far as I'm on the phone, I'm going to see what's possibly in my closet and immediately give me my money. I want my money right now. It was not mentioned until I, I did not say yes to the dress. Okay. Well, um, I kind of understand why, you know, I mean, I, I don't think I would have the authority to loan out my, well, I have authority to loan out anything, but I, I would not feel co comfortable forcing my kids mm -hmm. to loan a friend of mine who may or may not be bigger than my, you know, because well, things stretch out or whatever. Absolutely. So it, did you get mad that she said, you know, no, I can't loan basically, out? basically, her daughter actually wore my skirt a few days prior, <laughs> we went out to dinner. Her daughter had on the skirt. That's okay. a lie. Right. Now, I don't care. I don't okay, care. That's so, a lie. So, <laughs> at, so then when it was time yeah, with yeah. the, okay, let me borrow this, I get, well, I can't, I can't. And it was like, you know what? It's really funny that you can do that, 
But then I ask the same thing and you can't. You know, listen, I don't understand how we get here. I, I mean, I, I think that you are entitled to say, listen, I don't want to have a fight with my daughter. I'm sorry, you can have anything in my closet, but not my daughter's. Yeah, you, got, you, you have that right. But even if she gets mad at it, she's probably unreasonable in getting mad at that. What I don't understand is how after that, you still don't pay the money when a whole year has passed. I have not been working. Yeah, I, you know what? Go I get know. a job. You seem I, very I able-bodied. No, I, that I, can I, work, okay? No, I so, had yeah, had I don't care. I don't, do you understand the she difference? She called my mom. Listen to me. And apologize That's for her being That's a you wrong. problem. Stop talking. That is a you problem, not a me problem, that you're not working for a whole year. That's a no year. Deadline. It's not a month. A Excuse me. It's not a month. It's not a day. It's not a week. It's a year. That is a you problem. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So if you have a friend who l wants to borrow money from you, how do you protect yourself to make sure you get paid back? Um, it, normally for me, normally I always like think like what this kind of friend it is. It's like a close friend or like a friend of a friend. It's a friend who wants money from you. Yeah, it depends. Like I said, I would borrow. It depends on what, uh, how much money. Well, do you, what do you do to protect yourself no matter how much it is? Uh, just keep the relationship the same. Just keep in contact with that person. And uh -huh. yeah. uh, What do you do? <laughs> keep sending me. I'd have him do an IOU on a written. That's good. That's good, going inside the courtroom. When you look at a judge and you say, I'm not working, do you think that's a defense? It's not a defense. I have to enter a judgment based on what I find you owe, and I find that you very clearly owe the money. And I'm a little disappointed in you as a person and a friend that after all of that, after she fronts you the money, and after you know she loans you the clothes, and after you keep her skirt, that you don't repay what you have admitted you owe. And that your only answer is, I'm not working. You still can't figure out how to pay 20 bucks. Because would we be here if she had been paying you a little bit here and a little bit there? No, that of was course the not. Point. Your total well. sum of payment is zero. I didn't Trust pay me, any of that. You don't look good. You should shut your mouth very soon. Verdict for the plaintiff and the amount of the 620, and you have the skirt. So the plaintiff prevails in this lawsuit, Ms. Caldwell, mm -hmm. you still, I get the impression you don't understand why you still owe her the money. If you'll step over there, please, ma'am. That's because it was due whenever. Uh, if I had it, I would have gave it to her. I didn't have okay, it. Okay, all right. One other quick question. Mm -hmm. How has your life changed after losing 170 pounds? Uh, it's much lighter. <laughs> well, that's a good answer. I mean, there has to be a lot more than that, though, right? Well, it feels good. I, you know, it feels good. I did it for a, a health reason, so it feels good. It really does. I feel a lot lighter, and I feel very like, much energetic. It's much better in my I'm life. I'm going to believe there's a lot more to it than that. All right, thank you very much. Anyway, <laughs> no congratulations. That's, a, that's a great thing to lose that much weight. Ms. Ingram, you all right? The judge agrees with you? Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good enough. Okay. You know, the judge is so dead on here that if you owe somebody money and you can't afford to pay it back, pay them something back, at least you show good faith. It makes a huge difference.